Where is the next question? This is called Respectful Dialogue. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Del Rio, I'd like to introduce all of these young people who've been cheering for you. They're from Generation XL. I'd also like to point out that these young people support not just you, but also the Housing Authority. Yet, Mr. Mayor, in December, your Associate Chief of Staff told me that the Housing Authority has egg on its face for how it's handled these young people in evicting them from their youth center. Two, week, two days later, actually, Ninfa Segarra and Randy Mastro sent word that they would nonetheless defer to Chairman Franco. Your Honor and Mr. Mayor, we are here because we support your administration. We support your effort to get gang violence and, and young people alternatives. Yet your administration has refused to allow kids like this who support you and, and who support your staff to do the things that they want to do, namely excel. What do they, tell me what it is that they want to do and how they're not being supported and how they can be supported. Your well, Honor... Explain it, explain it to me. I, I don't follow in, what you're asking for. In February of 1996, a group of 20 teenagers made a decision that they would volunteer for the next several years of their lives to build a youth center. Within a year and a half, they had a youth center that had 250 kids registered and had events with as many as 450 kids. The New York City Housing Authority promised for a year that they would have a lease renewed with them. Then in the summer of last year, in July of last year, the Housing Authority tricked us into moving out, changed the locks, and refused to allow these young people back in to do the things that they want to do. Furthermore, Mr. Mayor, when these young people, when these He's teenagers... He's doing a very good job of explaining it. So when these teenagers called your offices, Randy Mastro's office, Ninfa Segarra's office, and Ruben Franco's office, Ruben Franco called me one day and told me he was annoyed at the fact that these young people were calling his office. They deserve an explanation, and furthermore, you're, Mr. Mayor, they deserve support. Now, what, what is it... I'm going to have Ruben explain it in a minute. But what right now, they don't have a youth center, is that it? That's right. Their space was in the Jacob Reese housing projects on Avenue D and 10th Street, right on the corner where drug traffic is happening all the time and where Mr. Safer's right. department makes routine busts. And now they don't have that center. That's correct. Okay. All right. Ruben? Okay. The Tenant Association did not want them there. The Tenant Association instead wanted to use with us the facility for programming for seniors and for other matters. And so since we couldn't work out an agreement with uh, this group of uh, young people, uh, we decided to move on and uh, use the space for other matters. As a matter of fact, Mr. Franco, your information is completely false. The week that we opened, the week that we opened, we introduced ourselves to the building manager, the president of the TA, and all the, the entire TA. Over the next year and a half, we had numerous functions where they were present and involved. Mr. Franco, we paid insurance when your department asked. We purchased a million dollar insurance policy. We weren't paying these kids, but we paid for the insurance. Furthermore, Mr. Franco, in November, you assigned an investigator who told me and three of my teenagers who were there that we had an excellent program that deserved a chance. One week later, your special assistant sent me a letter which told us to get all of our equipment out, including 50 computers, the weekend of Thanksgiving. Okay, the fact is the insurance that you got was inadequate. The fact is that you were squatters. You took over facility. You were invited. You were... You were... You may have been, you were invited there by an individual who also did not have authority to invite you. But, but, fact is that Bill Picciano, my special assistant, and others in the Housing Authority met with you. We tried to work it out. Again, we couldn't work it out. And important to us was that our tenant association wanted us to use the space for other matters, and that's what we're going to do. Let me, 
What I what? Where are you now? Where 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 do you where do you operate now? All of these kids have nowhere to congregate because the housing authority took their space away from them without any explanation. He's doing a really good job of explaining it. He could be my lawyer anytime. In fact, Mr. Mayor, I attend at your alma mater, NYU Law School. No wonder. I can see that. I can see the example. But explain. They are. But they must be, they, they're an organized group, so they must be operating somewhere right now. Absolutely. They must have a center somewhere. That's right. Actually, what you're observing is a group of kids that are extremely resourceful. They built a program with absolutely no money, no equipment, no, no paid staff. To this day, they are operating out of the basement of a church, which can barely accommodate the group that's here. There were 450 kids that benefited from this center. We were able to get 30 out here on two days' notice, because to this day, housing took away our space and refuses to let these kids meet and do the things they do, namely tutor, mentor, coach, teach computers, teach dancing, and a variety of other programs with absolutely no money. Well, if, if, you, if you come down here now, I will not, well, we're, we're gonna try to, I'll, I'll have you uh, meet with Ninfa. We will stay on top of this and we'll find out if there's a way in which we can, we can resolve this, all right? Okay? We'll see what we can do. I don't take the information.